how many people do we think as far as like drug dealers? We put the Tejadas, we just say that's one person. How many organizations do we think Don Carter has? Or is this like his first major? But this ain't even a major crew, though. The Tejadas are kind of in that in-between. They just got enough to move this pack right here that they stole from Noma, which is going to make Noma upset because Noma already went to Leffy and asked Leffy who's slanging on campus. But now she knows that Tariq and Braden are on campus, but they product just got hit and somehow Tariq and Braden got work. So, no, so there's two different trucks. There's two different trucks. The first truck that blew up that was the Russians truck. The one that Roman had was the Russian truck. That's why Zion got mad at Braden and was asking him, who does he know moving the product? This second truck that got uh, seized by the Tejadas, that was Noma's truck. Remember, Drew used to drive, so he knew all of the routes. So that's why they set it up to rob from Noma. So Zion's product was last week or week three when they blew it up. And that's how Braden and Tariq got in there. Then this week, this was Noma's truck because Drew knew all of the stops. That's what I'm saying, Zay. We don't know. Until this season, we didn't even know there were other drug dealers in New York City. All we knew was there was the little guaps. There was uh, Kai. There was his small level crew. And now out of nowhere, out of nowhere, we got a mid-tier drug dealer by the name of Zion who beat a Rico case, who has a whole fucking fight club that no one has ever heard about. But allegedly, the Tejada's name is good in the street, but it really wasn't that good in the street because if it was, then it wouldn't have been a one-on-one -on -one fight between Zion and Tejada. So somebody's lying. Somebody's lying in these streets. I don't know if it's Zion. I don't know if it's the Tejada's. I probably believe more than likely it's the Tejada's. I've never been able to trust one of them, but somebody's lying. Why didn't we hear about, remember when Kane had GTG and he was trying to get up and running? Obviously he would have went over to Zion when Mecca was around to show Mecca. Hey, I'm a big dog. The Tejadas, we run shit. Hey, Zion, we can get you a better deal on the bricks because we getting it from the global snitch instead of you getting it from the Russians. But it's just the writing. That's all it is. They got to, you know what I'm saying? They got to send us on a on a wild goose chase. But what we saying, let's just say for shits and giggles, they got, they got three people already. They got three different organizations working for Davis. The Tejadas make four. The Tejadas make the fourth crew. But this is bad for the Tejadas. They don't have any muscle. They just killed the only two... He said, listen, you guys can work, but you can't deal with civilians. How is Drew and Monet going to move a whole van full of work when you didn't got rid of? What is he trying to do? Is he setting them up for failure? Uh, I, I I see people going with that. If they tie Zion into Effie, I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be a little upset. I, I don't like. I don't like all the connections with people. I it just it that's too that's too easy. That's too easy. Zion was supplying Effie when she was at Choke. Supplying Effie with what? Supplying Effie with what? what? What were they selling that choke? We talking about Don Carter right now. Like, this is this is all going to tie into Don Carter, so we can talk freely right now. What were they selling that? What were they selling that choke? What were they selling that choke? Was it bricks? Hmm. What were they selling that choke? It was bricks that choke. I let me let me refresh my memory. I could be wrong. Tariq St. Patrick, you should be in class. We've been looking all over for you, son. 
Come on, Dean Norston, what's the problem? What's going on? Dean Orson says you're in some kind of trouble. What's he talking about, Tariq? We received an anonymous tip that you've been using the old AV room. Is that against the rules? Well, we found this. The pharmacist told us that a student had been buying a lot of... AV asterisk. So Zion wasn't a mid-level drug dealer. If he's connected to Effie, we know back in the OG power, whoever was Effie's supplier, remember Effie didn't have no work. Effie had to tell on Tariq. So you mean to tell me that he's getting his work from the Russians, but he ain't have no work from the Russians and he was just selling pills? Somebody's lying. Somebody's lying in these streets. Either the Tejada name ain't holding up or Zion ain't no mid-level. Zion might be a little bit bigger than the mid-level. Either that or he on the low level because Effie, if this was her supplier, was selling aspirin. Well, they were selling pills when they were in school. You see what I'm saying? Now, we can talk about all of this because this is public knowledge. Remember, Tariq went to court over this. about my life do you solemnly swear yeah we're friends we met at choat we were roommates the trick wasn't at choat for long do you recall why he transferred yeah somebody was selling drugs on campus the dean found a stash in our room assumed it was Tariq's. everything we're talking about Everything we're talking about right now, that's why I said, hey, it's me, y'all. I'm not going to put you in compromising situations. We can talk freely. This right here, Tariq moving pills in high school was brought up in the court of law. We can talk about this. We can talk anything we want about what happened in high school because it was brought up in court. Come on, guys. Come on. He didn't go to court for that, Zay. But listen. Listen to what Jenny says and listen carefully. Long, do you recall? Oh, we were roommates. But Tariq wasn't at Shoat for long. Do you recall why he transferred? Yeah. Tariq wasn't at Shoat for long. We were roommates. But Tariq wasn't at Shoat for long. Do you recall why he transferred? Yeah. Somebody was selling drugs on campus. The dean found a stash in our room. Assumed it was Tariq's. A student. Boom. Braden said that the dean assumed that it was Tariq's, and that's why Tariq wasn't that choked. So we can talk about Tariq moving pills on campus because Tariq was kicked out of school for it. You see what I'm saying? The case was thrown out, but we can talk about it because it was brought up. This is public knowledge. So you guys understand it's public knowledge. When you go back and look at the transcripts of this court case, it's going to say Tariq wasn't in school long. Why? Because he got kicked out because they assumed he was moving the pills. The case was thrown out, but Tariq still got suspended from school. They never erased Tariq getting suspended from school. So it's confirmed Tariq was moving pills in high school. He called it baby aspirin. So they were moving pills. And that's what Effie looked up in. Come on, man. I got it. Come on, man. It's me. I told you I got a whole Effie case file. I got a whole Effie case file over here. Y'all probably can't see it, but who is this right here? Oh, Effie. So now, if there is a connection, does Don Carter know about Zion? That's the question we need to know. And the reason we need to know about that is because this could potentially change the way the season plays out.
Put a one in the chat if we think Don Carter knows about. Well, he got to know about Zion because Zion beat the Rico case. So whether or not he knows if Zion's definitively selling drugs or not, he knows that Zion beat this Rico case. So Zion could be an issue later on for Don Carter. Maybe Zion doesn't want to get with the game, get with the program. Interesting. And this will make more sense tomorrow when we go over the titles. All right, so we believe that he does know about Zion. All right. Now, Kamal knows about the Tejada family. He knows about the St. Patrick family. And we've seen how Don's been talking to him over these last couple of episodes. Basically, it's my way or the highway. Now, could we see, like in the video I did with the episode six description, could we see Don using somebody to get Kamal out the way, but it's going to be a Tejada since they're on the payroll now. Well, I won't say they on the payroll. They they working. They funding everything. See, that's what we're trying to figure out. Does he got Zion paying thirty five percent, or is Zion partnered with him? You. Hmm. What if Zion isn't up under Don Carter and they like in this together? You know what I mean? What if it's like, hey, you give us the protection, we'll move to work and we can work. You know what I'm saying? We can coexist. But then again, I don't know if Don Carter, Don Carter seemed like he don't play fair, man. In one way or another, he's gonna get he's gonna get these Tejadas involved. They're gonna get their hands dirty, especially Drew, man. I'm telling you, Drew just need to go down there, go to the front desk and say, I have a confession. I don't want to do this, but I need to talk to Detective Don Carter. Monet did it. Monet did it. Monet did it. She cursed this family, Don. What I like to see, though, what I like to see is this Nico guy, him partner up with Drew, and they go do some dirty work. That's what I want to see. Don't, don't give us these characters and not put them to work. I want to see, like, hey, Nico got to link up with Drew. They got to go do something. Yeah, we're going to use Drew, but Nico's going to go with you. That's what I want to see. Don't just send Drew on no mission by himself. We know we can't trust Drew on a mission by himself. Drew will be looking like Zeke in that interrogation room. <laughs> hey, man. y'all. Hey, R.I.P. to Zeke, man. He wasn't supposed to be in there at all. Zeke didn't have any reason to be in there. Look, it took two police officers to knock Drew out. It took two police officers to knock Drew out. Drew wasn't going without a fight. Drew ain't weak like everybody else. Don Carter going to have to bail him out, man. I don't know who arrested him. Maybe Kamal. What y'all think? Kamal brought him in? Kamal brings Drew in. They whoop Drew's ass a little bit. But then uh, Don Carter comes and get him out. But he's like, Drew, you got to work for me. And you got to take out Kamal. I mean, Drew's already working for him. Drew's going to kill Kamal. 
See, that's what I want to see. I want to see him get locked up. They whoop his ass. You know, everybody needs a good ass whooping. Just one or two good, just one, one, one or two good ass whoopings is all you need in your lifetime. You catch one or two of them, you'll straighten up and fly right. You ain't going to be bullshitting no more. Drew, give him a nice ass whoop. Nah, they can't say nice ass whooping with Drew. You might like that. You give Drew a good ass whooping. Yeah, he'll be all right. He'll be all right in the morning time. You give him a gun, he'll go handle that situation. But Don Carter is about to fuck the Tejadas up worse than a Tariq St. Patrick could. Hey, put a put a five in the chat if you ever got drugged about or somewhere after you got your ass whooped like this. Put a five in the chat and be real. Be real. We ain't going to make fun of nobody. Put a five in the chat if you got your ass whooped one good time and they had to drag you up out the spot like this. I know it's going to be a whole bunch of fives. Put a five in the chat if you got your ass whooped and they drug you up out the spot like this. Catalyst said five. At least we got somebody honest. Kendall said five. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I tell you all the stories. I'm like in street fights, I'm probably like eight and three. There was one time though, it had me thinking, like, man, I don't really need to be out here fighting. There's this dude. His name is DeAndre. I don't know if this nigga was a trained fighter or what, but when I tell you this nigga beat the shit out of me, I'm thinking it's about to, I'm like, I bet I got this one. You, you pop, pop, pop. Like, oh shit, this nigga different. <laughs> like, damn, like, hold on, nigga. Ain't no one ring the bell. This nigga got off on me. I'm talking about had me against the wall. I'm like, oh, nigga, just block. Nigga, just block. All I can do is just block. Nigga, beat this shit out of me. Oh, they ain't had to drag me out though. They ain't had to drag me out. I did have like a cut though, like on the side of my chin. He nigga got the best of me, bro. Nah, he ain't make me think I was getting jumped. I knew it was one on one. I knew he was just one. He was one on one whooping my ass. It ain't no. I know what getting jumped feel like. I got jumped. Um, I got jumped, and that's when they stole my Jason Richardson jersey. Because I had my Flint 13s. That was the last pair of J's I bought back then. Because I like, if I'm going to be out fighting, nigga, I'm not about to be buying J's. It's back when J's cost 125 Waiting in line, got my Flint 13s. I had the Jason Richardson. I had the City jersey, the Golden State, with the trolley on it. They stole my jersey. I got jumped. Getting jumped, you know when you're getting jumped. Man, I got kicked in the side of my head. Yeah, getting jumped, you know when you're getting jumped. But I won that fight, though. I won that fight. But then I ended up getting jumped because I won. We supposed to be talking about Don. This is this is how they were looking at me after I uh, <laughs> after I got whooped in that one on one. This is how they were looking at me. I'm like, damn, nigga, you need to reconsider throwing hands, man. You you ain't really throw no hands. You just caught hands. <laughs> <laughs> damn. All right, but Don Carter is going. He's going. to who do you think, in the short amount of time that Don Carter is going to be here, is he going to do more damage to the Tejadas than Tariq has done over the last three seasons? Or is it going to about even out? <laughs> yeah, that, that story I told y'all when I got jumped. That's the time my mom tried to tell me to go to the police station. Remember I told y'all my mom was crying? That was that night. I got jumped. I went home. Face was fucked, too. 
Go to the police. I'm not going to no fucking police station. I'd rather get jumped again. You go to the police station, niggas gonna shoot you. Like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not about to go tell on nobody. My mom was crying too. She was begging me. I went to sleep sore as a motherfucker. <laughs> I was in that bit. Please just go. Oh, hell, dog, man. Because it was cool, though. Because I won the fight. So all the girls are like, you were holding your own. You were holding your own. I was like, man, why ain't the fuck ain't nobody break that shit up when them niggas started jumping me, though, man? Them niggas is getting off. But yeah, Don Carter, this is how they were looking at me, too. Like, damn, this thing got his ass up. But it is what it is. I think, I think Don's going to be... I think Don's going to be worse to the Tejadas than Tariq. This new detective in power is really going to be a problem. See, that's what I'm thinking. I think... I think overall, because he they gonna speed up Don Carter's process. So whatever he got going on with the Tejadas, it's about to be within. Like Tariq's been around. Tariq has fucked over the Tejadas, but the Tejadas fucked Tariq over too, and now he's part of the Tejadas. But Don Carter's either about to put somebody in the grave or someone's going to jail. Girls, we won the consolation prize. Hell no. Hey, after I got jumped, though, brr, brr, I had that phone call. <laughs> it was about to get ugly, but I had to call off the dog. I had, to, hey, I will say that I had to call off the dog because they were talking about making it rain. I said, come on, man. We can't do nothing like that. It ain't even that. So we were just throwing, this is 2004. So we just throwing him. I mean, people had the things on, but back then we were fighting. So. It wasn't like now where you just shoot somebody that you into it with. You you actually fought them back then, but but I think Don Carter's gonna be. Let's that's what we're gonna do. Out of okay, we're gonna rank them out of who's gonna be the worst for the Tejada downfall. We got Don Carter, uh, Don Carter, Noma, the Russians, and and we'll do Zion. So out of those four. What order? What order are we putting them in? Don Carter, what he's potentially going to do to him? What we just talked about? The Russians, Noma, or Zion? Who's going to have a bigger impact on the downfall of the Tejadas? What order are we putting it in? One being first, and then four being last. Don, Noma, Russian, Zion. What up, Brillo? There we go. We got us a new list. And. Down dog, no. I gotta get, I gotta get on my Google spread. Do I got Word on this computer? I think I do. Carter, Zion, Russians, Noma. So we're going to put Carter at number one. I'm trying to think what's Noma going to do because Noma right now might be beefing with Zion. Unless she finds out. Because how is this going to work? If if the Tejadas are working for Don Carter and they stole no one's product, they're going to have a little bit of protection. From Don, because Don needs to make money, so he can't let Noma push up on them. I guess let's let's talk about Noma and then we'll just. We'll rank them accordingly.
Yeah, see, I think the Russians going so the Russians are gonna have to get some kind of payback. There's no way that they they brought the Russians back up and they only gonna deal with Effie. They got to get some kind of get back. Cause Zion, Zion gets his product from the Russians. Zion has issues with Noma. To hide us fall up under Don. Kane is up under Noma. It's just, it's just, just so much shit going on. But Tariq and Braden are up under Zion also. But Monet don't want to do nothing to Tariq because Tariq is the dad of Diana's baby. But Diana's still up under Noma because she hasn't got the with the program that they're up under. Goddamn damn. Zion does get his work from the Russians. Who does Zion get his work from? I could have sworn he said he got his work from the Russians. He wanted to supply the Russians? I thought he was getting the supply from the Russians. Wait, so the Russians are up under him? It's, hold on. I'm confused. You know, it's funny you mentioned trust. It's my number one priority for the people I fuck with. Okay. Ever since Davis introduced you to, I feel like motherfuckers been keeping shit from me. Give me a second. You know, I ain't got it cut up, so I got to pause in between it. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We're not hiding shit. I see, everybody knew the Russians lost their product. Oh, he was everywhere. Okay, so everyone knew the Russians lost their product. See, I was thinking, every, you know, I'm watching this shit at work. So I thought he said, we lost the Russians product. A vacuum I expected to fill. Oh, a vacuum and I yet, expected to fill. I ain't heard shit from them. But somehow they back in business. And they back in business through Noma. So wait a minute. All right, so the Russians lost their product. Zion is saying he wanted to be the, you know what I'm saying, he wanted to fill that void, meaning he wanted to supply the Russians. So you mean to tell me that Zion, the mid-level dealer, 
is trying to do the same shit that Noma was doing, who's supposed to be top tier in the Russians or just at the very bottom of the totem pole? What? So the Russians are the lowest level niggas on the show. Zion is higher up than the Russians because he wanted to supply the Russians since they lost their product. So now the Russians then dropped all the way down. Y'all know why the Russians lost their product? Just so we can, we can just, you know what I'm saying, we can just connect all the dots. Because all this is going to link back to the titles. I'm going to get us back on track. But we just got to figure this shit out. We got a whole two months to figure all of this out. The Russians lost their product. Because Tariq relay snitched and told Tate about the damn doc. And that's why the Russians ain't here on the level they supposed to be. No, Kane. They lost all their work when they got arrested. That's why Noma came in. Remember at the end of last season, Tariq told Tate, Tate told. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They thought we wasn't going to do a deep dive. That's what they thought. They thought we wasn't going to. Okay, power. You thought you had one over us. No, 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 you didn't. So the Russians moved from being one of the top people in the city. Tariq got them arrested. Yes, Tariq St. Patrick told Rashad Tate. Rashad Tate made that drug bust, and we got them off the street. Now, I know a lot of people were saying that that the first scene that we seen Don Carter wasn't that, but it was that. Those two were connected together. This is back in February. We seen the paperwork. I zoomed in. We seen it all. The Russians drop all the way down. Noma pops up. Noma wants to supply the Russians. But Kane told us that Zion is mid-level. But if Zion is mid-level, how the hell is he going to fill that void for the Russians when the Russians were up there equivalent to Noma? Remember, the Russians were big, bad. They bounced up. Now these the Russians are no different than GTG, little guap in them. They just out here. They meeting up, they beefing with Monet, talking about what is she doing here? Now they got the Russians looking weak as hell. Now that we didn't oh. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We're not hiding shit. You see, everybody knew the Russians lost their product. Oh, it was everywhere. A vacuum I expected to fill. And yet, I ain't heard shit from them. But somehow they back in business. Who's supplying them? And that's how we get to talking about Noma. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're right. Noma is more of a threat than Zion is. So Don, Noma, Zion, then the Russians, because the Russians are working up under Noma at this point. So Zion is above. Okay, we good. There we go. There we go. So Noma, that's the person we need of interest. Noma is number two. They must have been Ukrainian. I don't know where the Russians, man. They got the Russians all the way down at the bottom. 